What's up guys, it's Burback here, and we're going back to some more Slay the Spire, Library of Runa. So, first off, mods, looky here. I went ahead, I said on the next lap we would do the add the lobotomy mod, because it uh, works with Library of Runa. Uh, lobotomy was, I think it's Lobotomy Corporation, is the uh, game before Library of Runa. I'm assuming they work in tangent pretty well. Uh, the game didn't crash when we loaded it. Um, this is a little bit of gobbledygook, but um, author is Ho Hokuji, maybe? Um, and so we're going to go into that right now. I did want to thank um, the Felix and Gold. Um, you guys have been really great uh, with comments. And based on, your, based on the recommendation, um, Gold recommended going doing the normal... Uh, standard like uh, Slay the Spire run to start with. So we're going to go into the Ironclad um, since level zero. And he said probably don't do this to start with. Um, in his words, he said do 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 ba do ba do boop. Um, go to the Exorbium to start with to get familiar with the system. So I'm curious what all it's going to add in terms of, I've not played any of it. Okay. Um, he did mention also it's true colors if you don't as the mod doesn't start showing the true colors if you don't pick bucket so keep that in mind I mean I guess we want to obtain the bucket in that regard I don't know if he's telling me not to obtain bucket or to obtain bucket and it's better but I mean I guess you go with bucket oh okay uh, tutorial uh, the counters about the relic show the PE points just between runs you can get special rewards at the end of combat with this relic, some combats will be replaced with an ordeal. Uh, ordeals can be cancelled in the main screen mod config. Run in tandem with super fast mode. This is in some effects may be abnormal. Please consider that before using it. This is this mod in some effects will be That's fine. Alright, so we have bucket for lobotomy. In the combat gain a special reward called PE based on your anomal an abnormality cards. Interesting. We're just gonna have to try it and see how it goes. Uh, we got a lot of mods in here, so I'm curious how it'll work. Left side seems pretty good all the way up until we hit that bonfire. Uh, I, I don't know how the combat works here, but we are gonna try it. It's so weird playing against normal enemies. I haven't seen in so long. I'm gonna turn this down just a smidge. Volume is a bit loud in my ear holes. Um, but I hope everyone's doing good. The Thursday, um, I think I recorded a little bit ahead of time last time. I was very slightly confused on where I had been and what I've been doing for recording wise um, and setting up all my equipment, trying to try other things. I got my actually my secondary monitor i have the comments from youtube because there's like stuff i want to talk about and like people i want to shout out so i wanted to do that uh here's our reward um abnormally our kind of special card you cannot see the real information including the rarity yeah card you gain people right? you unlock abnormal information at the single card view screen the according to rarity i don't know what this means um self effects these information can be locked once you check unlocked information in the car new information there save sp unlocked information will save sp okay this change you have if you have more than 20 you can select uh get another selection of mr pickups by occurring 20 p okay so that is very loud oh my goodness uh, turn down effects. I bet that's it. That's better. Hopefully that's not too loud for you guys. Um, so this is T-0... T-02-99. I don't know if these have, like... That's like gunfire. Okay. Interesting. Um, so please eat my dreams. People have been committing sins from a long time ago. Why do they commit such a thing, even if they don't know it's bad? Because they must never forget. So that's definitely war.
I mean, I'm guessing I'm gonna go for the war card. Ooh, spooky. Okay. Um, seeing red, bloodletting. I mean, seeing red is just like baseline, not bad. Kind of like a free free card with some uh, utility. Okay. Can you play this? No, it does nothing. And at least it's X do nothing. It is so loud still. I even have my volume pretty far down, but I'm gonna turn it down to I guess 20. I wonder if there's a way in the configs or in the the mod settings to turn down the card's volume, which is a weird thing to say. Yeah, go back up a little bit of my end. Okay, six six. I think everything. I'm gonna have to try it. Okay, so we can continue getting these. These ones are much quieter. I mean, they're, they're making weird background noises, but it's not as bad. Okay, she was so talkative before. Uh, there was only listeners. Everything will be peaceful when you are under the fairy's care. But what's real pitiful is those like you dying in the hands, hands of the likes of me. I want to go with the fairy's care one. It sounds interesting. So these are just eating slots in my deck. Uh, I wonder if I exhaust them. Yep, yeah, that went super loud. Gunfire and all that. I'm gonna take the exhaust card. Good block, and also, why not? We can go in ritual, fire breathing, run through, war cry. <laughs> Two for one on the corrosive curse. And three decrepit. I just don't see that being super good. Like, it reduces the damage, but. So you're reducing damage by one. Uh, yeah, language is a one less attack per stack. And you're increasing damage by two. So you're dealing two more damage, but this doesn't feel as good because even it's exhaustive. I guess if it didn't like decrease, it'd be pretty good. It'd be like removing one strength and like gaining one strength. But at this point, I don't think it's worth it. Um, I don't know if there's a point to like removing these cards. I've still not seen anything to incentivize either way. Um, defuffs, debuffs do less and max HP with the Dury in there. Not too bad. Uh, lose an attack potion. That's fine, obtain a relic. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And we got Red Skull. HP is below 50%, gain three additional strength. Not bad, our HP stays fairly low either way. All right. Oh, I can actually play this one. So True Grit. Oh, it's random right now. Um, and I have to try this. I healed to max. Right? I mean, I might have been... It definitely was heal one. So I don't know. So we can't play this one yet. We must not have enough uh, PE to do that. I also didn't see if it cost us any, um, any energy. I couldn't tell. Because I honestly didn't think it would do anything. Oh, wait, no, I'm gaining... No, I gained another one. I don't know why, though. So confused. Okay, so at the end of my turn, I'm gaining one HP. Because I played that card. That, did that card exhaust? Nope, it's still in my deck. Okay, I kind of want to know what it does, but... I'll take the free advantage currently. Interesting. Uh, strike. Regret. Get the days out of here. Weird. Okay. So first off. Playing this. Heals me one and took no energy to do so. So now am I healing two at the end of the turn? No, it's still just one. So I don't ha get any real advantage from playing it. A second time, really, is what I, from what I can see. It's like playing with the Runic Dome, but for your own cards. Like, I don't know what these do. I think once I understand... Okay, that one, yeah. Once I understand on how to, like, eventually look at the cards, I think I'll be more happy. I don't like the idea of being able to play it. 
and not know the actual effect. A little more frustrating on my end. Um, but at the same time, that's part of the mod, so we'll see how it goes. And you are a devil card. T6. And I wonder if these consist between runs. Like, um, if I were to play a new run, would that number still consist to the card that heals me every turn? Or is the names randomly generated just based on the fact of what cards are in, like, are all the names just randomly gener generated here? I don't know. You can't stop it either once the, the noise starts playing. Which is un a little bit unfortunate. Okay. I mean, we're, we're just kind of cruising. Technically, with this card, I could just stall out the fights until I heal back the max every time, but that seems kind of rude. Boomerang, put the fourth card you play on top of your draw pile. A uh, reward here. Extra extraction. So, what is that? Um... Oh, they told me. I think this would give me another card. Then for the end of the loan list, there's only listeners. Very splendid, and it approaches you. A long time ago, why? Interesting. And I'll go with another one. I don't see why not currently. Uh, angers are going to be good. Fills up my deck faster than I'll fill it up with other cards. Um, let's get the seeing red upgraded. To be pretty good here. Okay. Still can't play that one. I really want to exhaust them if I can. So let's give them the biggest chance to do that. And I did exhaust it, so it is out of here. I might honestly remove that one. Oh, I can play this one. Oh, wait, this is the one I play for healing. Took nothing. This one I play does. It gave me a block and then instantly dealt 12 damage to me. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if these some of these can be just starkly negative. Weird. I mean, I bet there's a like some kind of effect on it where the if I maybe if I have another blessing it'll um deal damage to me or something. And I'm not healing, so this one was gone when I played the next one. Okay. Yep, and there's my healing. Anger. Oh, I should have bashed first. It's fine. Fight's still over. Okay. Flowers, empty on employees. People have... Let's try extra extraction. Okay, so it does just do another roll. The more beautiful it is. Okay. That one sounds like it's going to do damage based on how much HP the target has. So, con so confused how all this works. Inflame is just a, a, a generically good card. Funnel is fine if we don't spend energy. I honestly also could take the keys and they will be actually pretty good here um, for gaining some max HP. Okay, this one is... You see a singing in front of your eyes. It is very splendid and it approaches you. Alright, this is the one that hurt us last time. That time it gave me 8 block. Last time it dealt 12 damage to me. That one also cost 1 to do so. Okay, nice to know. Alright, so sing red. Angor. Go ahead and get that going. Uh, well, oh, we have a ton of energy. This oh, we played the sing red. Of course we have a ton of extra energy. All right, so the more blood, the more beautiful. So what does this do? Nothing. Okay. Uh, this is the fairy's care. Good. Inflame and then defend. We are going to take a sizable chunk of damage here. Funnel actually kind of helped here. And is Durian giving us? Whenever we get a, yeah, whenever we get a debuff, gain temporary health. Okay. Uh, you need to die. I don't want to deal with that. And we're about to be netted, which is going to suck, I think. But worst case scenario, we honestly probably can 
just stop and get gain 12 at least. Which saved us a lot right there. Um, fairies. Yes, that's an extra one. And you are... This is the one that approaches you, so... Yeah, it dealt damage to me that time. I don't get why, though. But did we gain a bunch of... Sh no, the Red Skull is giving us strength. Um, none of these are that great. But the curse continues, never removed. Okay. You'll be reduced to ashes like me. Is an injury you possess. Uh, I, I, I mean... Sure. Add more cards to the deck. Uh, we want a smith, probably in flame. Sure. It at least gets out of the deck when we play it. We do need some kind of draw engine. Like, I'm not super excited for what's on Ooh. I'll be upgrading a number of times. I'll have to pick up upgrade two. But it's up against Happy Flower, and Happy Flower is just really good. Okay. Specific combat will be replaced with an ordeal. Ordeals will go in order as Dawn, Noon, Dusk. Defeating an Adoro can net you special reward. As you defeat this one, the boss of the Beyond will be replaced with the Midnight Ordeal. Alright. We got little creatures. Okay. They still do not tell me what they do. Here's the new one. Six block. This is the one that approaches. More block. Maybe if they're not hurt, they give block? I don't, I still don't get it. But at the meantime, we are not, oh, every time they hit you, they exhaust a card. And that was three attacks. Good thing I have angers, I guess. The more blood, the more beautiful. Did nothing, okay? Uh, yeah, we need to get these things dead very quickly because they will just kill us. Okay. Yeah, there's no way to stop them from exhausting cards. That's nonsense. Um, that gave me six block. I don't know why still. 13, you're dead. Um, oh, they blow up too. There's nothing in their text description that says they will blow up, but they do. Oh, that one didn't exhaust, but they healed themselves? The Angers literally, I think, will save us. The more blood, the more beautiful. Didn't do anything. Okay. Defend True Grip. It's like if I block, they exhaust a card. If I have it in the draw pile to exhaust, I guess. So, so far, the Curse one is just a... Um, they blew up dealing 10 damage. Okay. Um, the curse one just seems to be six block from what I can tell. Exhausting more cards. Luckily, anger. Okay, cheers to the start. Desire, okay. More cards. Okay, the first chapter ends with a sentence born again. That sounds good. And sounds a mighty horn. I'll take this one. Ooh, we got something here. Boom. <laughs> Uh, express change from hell. At the end of your turn, uh, light one light. If four lights are lit at the end of your turn, deal 50 damage to all creatures, exhausting all lights. Active. Upgrade your cards according to lit light and extinguish all lights. What? At the end of your turn, light one light. If four lights are lit at the end of the turn, deal 50 damage to all creatures and extinguish all lights. So I can activate it, upgrade your cards according to lit lights, and extinguish them all. I'm thinking this is something I can activate during the turn. Maybe. Life will give in those who do not fear death. Sure. Let's try it. Uh, I'm going to take ghostly armor. Actually, iron wave might have been better. Uh, mine, I kind of want to toke. The one that keeps hurting me out of here. Uh... Yeah, this one, I kind of want gone. I don't like any of the other options, so I'm going to do that. So, you leave. Leave my deck and never come back. You have been the worst. All right. Oh, we start with a plus three strength. And this one is peaceful for the ones who cares. Okay, that one also healed me. Cool. Anger, seeing red. Defend, defend. 
I guess as soon as seeing red, it didn't actually end up mattering. I need to deal 21 more damage. And I still can't use this one. Loosely armor. I guess we still need more... Bucket. Uh, six. This is only 20. I'm not going to... Get through that. So we'll... Take 12 here. Okay. Bash here is pretty nice. Actually, I'm pretty happy for that. Oh, I don't have any more energy. And we're here healing. Uh, curse is block. Okay, maybe not. Was more beautiful. Didn't do anything. You? Gave me six block. Okay. I don't get it still, but okay. Maybe you can't have like certain ones active at the same time. Fairy's care. I know it's healing. Loosely armor. I don't really want to hit him. I have three. I guess we should exhaust one and then deal at least a little bit of damage to him. Oh, there's the train. Ow. It's 50 damage to all creatures. I guess that includes myself. I wasn't expecting a train to come through and kill me. I still don't understand what's going on. I was hoping to figure out what cards did and maybe you guys can tell me. We're going to do another one because that didn't feel very optimistic. It felt very confusing um, with the mechanics going on. Uh, get the bucket. Oh, we did keep, so we have 160 here. Uh, I'm just going to go up this right side with question marks and elites. Um, this is going to be a, another quick one, probably. Um, but some feedback on what this stuff does will definitely help me a lot. My current thing is I just want to know how to look at the cards. And maybe you never get to see the effects, and that's the the whole point, but I don't think I will like it if that's how it goes. The curse one was block, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. And then ooh, early body slam. Or I can exhaust and draw, which would I could be a way to use these actually. Let's actually take the burning pact, because I need draw to get to my actual cards if some of these um, lobotomy cards are not treating me correctly. Oh, and we're so close. Membership card would have been super good. Okay, gain one strength, lose one HP. Rupture, whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. I'm actually kind of super okay with Rupture. Since some of these cards just hurt you outright. I'm going to take it. I'm also going to take the clothesline. I, I'm going to have to have a fat deck for this, this mod, I, I feel like. Okay, um, block. Block, strike. Overblocked, or I could have took some damage either way. Rupture's fine. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to do. I don't want to take any more thorns damage. Okay. The curse continues, never removed. That one feels like six blocks for no energy. Again, can't confirm, but it feels like. Yeah, they're, they're like cards with like super strict stipulations. Okay, so then we strike. Cool. Um, first memory starts with a warm hug. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going for the ones that sound nice. Seems like the best way to go about. Um, I don't need any of these. They don't, none of those were exciting. Okay, warm hug. Dealt seven damage. Okay. Not really what I was expecting. We'll do this, and then we want to curse for block. Okay. Remembering the ordering now. Okay, and then we... Actually, can we just kill? Bash. Strike. I kind of just want to drink one of these. Uh, play the top card. Havoc. Is it defend? I guess that's fine. We'll kill them next turn. And boom. Hands float in the bath that they are handed. That's not a flower. Order all the employees to get away immediately. Sure. Seems interesting. Uh, Pummel strike pretty good. Again, more draw. Is this going to be... And this is not an ordeal. They come randomly. Curse can never be removed. This should be block. Yep. Pummel strike. 
pummel you. I, I think I'll go for the Burning Pact on this defend here. See if we get anything better. Okay. Over 200 on the bucket. I don't know if that's a lot or a little bit. Rupture. Um, this is Warm Memories from a Hug, which is damage. Clothesline. It blocked the weakness, but we are going to get hit here, but we hadn't taken any damage yet, so. Kind of okay for it. Hug. Okay. What is this? What is. What are you? Oh. That means you don't play that card. How was I supposed to know that? So the little green widget is bad, apparently. Oh, gross. Okay. I'm going to drink this sharpness potion. Uh, we're going to try to survive here. Also, why are we gaining random block at the end of the turn? I don't get it. Okay. You're dead. Clothesline is going to be great. For you, I can start dealing damage. Yeah, we're gaining five block at the end of the turn. Weird. Okay, the green widget's not there. Never, never removed. So that's still six block. Burning pack the, the dazed. I'm looking for my little, little widget card. Okay, two of the, some of the defense are, all these cards have been exhausted also, and I don't know why. Uh, you're, I hit the wrong one. Doesn't matter because we gained five block. Aww. So this should be block. Okay, so we should be 11. Okay. It's hard following the status effects here. Okay. Poke, poke, and poke. Alright, we're on the last one. We still might die. Oh. Okay, you're a trap. I see your little... Nonsense widget. What happens if I exhaust it? Okay, it doesn't kill you. That's good. And then we hit you. We should gain five. No, we didn't gain five. So I guess because I exhausted the widget. No. We're still exhausting cards. We've exhausted plenty. But one attack should do that. Well, two attacks. Get us out of this fight. So I guess we can... Oh. Block. Oh, uh, what do you do? Eight. Perfect. Oh, smiling mass. I don't even want another card. But we got to. I give you this gift with infinite hatred. Sure. Uh. Uh, no. The problem with clashes, I want to take it. However, it's not going to be very good. All right, there's my, my, the, the, the nonsense gremlin. I have to play this defend. Or I should play it. So I guess it's as long as Nonsense Gremlin's in the deck, we gain 5 block. But what's giving us the Nonsense Gremlin? Infinite Hatred. Gave me an attack, Reckless Charge. Rupture, are we still dead here? Uh, not specifically. I guess I could have killed that one. We're down, take down to 10. Okay. Actually a single strike kills you. And then we'll clothesline them. But a bunch of our cards are being exhausted. I don't know why they're, that's happening either. Memory, seven damage, and then strike, six damage. Okay. Live in the gray, more beautiful. Uh, the color of human heart is pink, but wearing the same color blend to people's minds. Sure. I have no idea which ones I should and should not be taking here. Okay. Infinite hatred. Gave me looming evil, so it can give you curses? Energy to exhaust, and then your turn, shuffle a curse. I mean, I kind of just need to do that. Okay, what kind of card do we get now? I don't really like any of these, but we should start hitting them. I think I'm going to go for all the gusto I can here. Pommel strike. First memory. Ooze drink. Uh, Berserk, Reckless Charge, uh, Ready, Strike, Strike, cool. 
I'm gonna retain the rage. So I can play more attacks this coming up turn. There, okay, there's the widget on that one, so we can't do that. Okay, we're raging. Close line in. However, human is pink. Intervene. Re reduce receive damage by 24%. And then it has a one. Curse is block. Strike is damage. Okay. We've got something going on here. Okay, intervene down. I don't know what that means. And defend and then hit them again for more block. Army of Black. That. No 10 damage to yourself. Uncontrollable. Triggers when drawn. Okay. That's not good. Okay, there's 10 damage to myself. Okay. Seven. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I think I'm going to need some help from you guys. We got up to 300 abnormality. But I don't think I'm going to do another one currently. Um, let me get some feedback from you guys so I can figure out maybe what I'm doing. Because I need to know how to look at the cards. Unfortunately, these don't tell me what they do. And that's why I don't play with Runic Dome. Is I like to know kind of what's going on. And it said there was a way to look at those. I also want to go, while we're sitting here and while we're just chatting, and look in the configs and see if there's a way to turn down the card noises. Config. Activate ordeal. When full world back. Activate tutorial. Like infinite force pressure. Nope. There is not. And I think also why we're looking here. Look at the compendium. Card collection. Angela, boss, ego. Oh, there's a bunch of new new cards added in. So there's some other playable characters we probably can get. I also want to see what if there's a, a new set of relics for them. This mod. There's a bunch of relics here that we haven't seen, but some of these relics we've just never seen. Oh, there they are. So here's some new stuff. Some of these look pretty cool. There's the train that killed us. And then is there new potions? Or have we seen them? Oh, we've seen all the potions. Yep. So, well, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, again, please, if you know how to play this mod, um, a little advice would be great. Um, but I will give it a, another try next time. Um, I feel like powering through and just learning the card names might do it. But also, it did sound like there was a way to actually know what the cards were um, and spend your abnormality on them. If I understand it right, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.